Товарищ Октябрьская Мария Васильевна. Благодарю вас, Мария Васильевна, за вашу заботу о бронетанковых силах Красной Армии. Ваше желание будет исполнено. Примите мой привет. Иосиф Сталин. Ну вот, почти готово. Через пару дней заберем остальных. Так точно, товарищ сержант. В смысле, мама. Я решила продать все свои вещи. Зачем они мне? А так я смогу помочь. Ну, хотя бы деньгами. When 38-year-old Maria Oktyabrskaya arrived with her T-34 tank in Smolensk, the soldiers thought it was a joke. On the tank's turret, painted with big white letters, there was its name, Fighting Girl. It was widely considered as an act of ridicule and almost no one treated her seriously. However, Maria, seeking revenge on the Germans, proved very quickly how wrong they were gaining a reputation and becoming a tank legend. She went on a rampage, her tank caused havoc and terrorized the Germans. She was posthumously recognized as a heroine of the Soviet Union for her achievements during the fighting in the vicinity of the city of Vitebsk. Maria Vasilevna Oktyabrskaya was born on June the 16th, 1905 in Crimea. She came from a poor family. She was one of 10 children. At the age of 20, in 1925, she married a Soviet officer. As time passed, the young Maria became increasingly interested in the army and all that was associated with it. She became a member of the Council of Military Wives, educated as a military nurse, and she learned to shoot from different weapons. On June the 22nd, 1941, Operation Barbarossa began. German troops with immense power attacked the Soviet Union. Hitler's troops consisted of 164 divisions with 3,612 tanks and 2,937 aircraft. Maria was evacuated to the city of Tomsk in Siberia. In August 1941, her husband was killed in Kiev during the first months of the campaign. However, the message did not reach Tomsk until two years later. Maria mourned her loved one and swore revenge. She sold everything she had and deposited all the money, 50,000 rubles, to build a T-34 tank. In an emotional letter to Stalin, she swore revenge on the fascist dogs and asked to call her tank the Fighting Girl. The letter ended with a request to be sent to the front line as a driver. There was no way to confirm whether this letter reached Stalin, but the Russian Defense Committee of the state immediately realized the propaganda value of the situation and decided to give a T-34 tank to Maria. Maria was sent on the five-month course, which was an exception, because at that time the tank crew underwent minimal training and were sent straight to the front. She was assigned to the 26th Guards Tank Brigade as a driver and tank mechanic. She painted her tank's name on its turret with white paint, the Fighting Girl. The other commanders were very sceptical. However, their attitude changed after the first battle in which Maria Oktyabrskaya participated. On October 21st, 1943, in the Smolensk area, her tank was causing havoc. When it was hit, Maria jumped out, despite her orders, and repaired it. For her attitude and actions, she was promoted to the rank of sergeant. A few weeks later, she took part in a night battle near the village of Novoye Selo, during which she confirmed her reputation. Not only did she guide the tank very well, but when they were hit by a shell, she repaired the damaged tracks while the tank crew was covering her. On 17th of January 1944, Maria Oktyabrskaya took part in a night attack near Vitebska. Her T-34 attacked trenches and machine gun nests, even destroying a German self-propelled gun. At one point, the fighting girl was hit and completely immobilized. 
Despite the orders to remain in the tank, Okchibroskaya jumped out, but this time she'd run out of luck. She was hit in the head by shell fragments and lost consciousness. Maria was transported to the hospital near Kiev after the battle, but she never regained consciousness. For almost two months, she was in a coma. Maria Okchibroskaya died on March 15, 1944. For her courage and acts of fortitude, she was awarded the highest medal of the Soviet Union and honoured a hero of the Soviet Union.